Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot and uh, sound only tarot excuse me uh, I have stopped doing uh, Lenormand's and uh, weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17, 2019 so I'm going to use the traditional tarot deck and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, once again I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, tarot uh, for Aquarius's excuse me star sign and uh, for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Aquarius. And uh, also, uh, I want to let you know that uh, for the month of February, I have uh, severely reduced the pricings of uh, my services for the reason to make myself more accessible to the people that are facing big difficulties, especially financial difficulties. So, um, if you tried to have the reading with me back in the days, but you found uh, my pricings a little bit too much, well, have a look right now and uh, maybe you can find them attractive this time around and uh, affordable to your budget. So, uh, cutting now the cards and let's see what we have for you Aquarius. So the first card that is going to be the Tree of Swords which is the topic of your week. Not a, a very, very pleasant card. I really kind of like cross my fingers here that we do, uh, well, we're gonna have a positive growth at the end one way or another, but the transition from it, I hope that is going to be rather easier to be achieved here. So let's see. Uh, the second card that we do have, this is going to be the four of uh, wands. Third card, uh, second card is about what you should not do regarding the situation. This is the negative approach that you can make toward the Tree of Swords. Or in other words, if you do that, then the Tree of Swords magnifies, okay? Um, and in in intensify as well. So the next one that we do have, this is the positive approach that you can take toward the situation. That is the Ace of Swords or what you should do uh, in this case. And the last one, that is the final outcome of the week that offers you growth, should you follow the advice that Tsaro has for you. So once again, three of swords here, followed by the four of uh, wands. Then we do have the ace of swords, and finally, the queen of uh, wands. Okay, so, well, to be honest, uh, looking at these cards here, we're going to indulge in every card uh, more closely. But just by looking at these cards, uh, it will depend, uh, you know, how much you value the opinion of the others. It all comes to that for the duration of this week, because uh, basically it's most likely throughout this week, uh, Aquarius, you're going to be hurt by someone's words or by many people's words as well. So if you don't care what someone thinks for you, well, then this week is going to be pff, a trifle. But if the opinion of someone values more than anything else, then, then that week could be really uh, stressful and uh, how can I place it despondent? So this is what the Tree of Swords really points here, that uh, you are going to uh, be hurt by words. And uh, there will be people who are going to um, in incorporate or exert a, a mental cruelty against you. Mental cruelty, what is mental cruelty? Because I do have that question. So, for example, let's say you you are working in a team into your career and you're dealing with a difficult project and you basically do something that it is not correct not saying that it is right but it is not correct and um, your supervisor comes around and your supervisor can approach the situation in a couple of ways it can approach it in a way saying you know what man that that is not how you should do it you know but um you should try this, this, and this, and that is the correct way. That is the uh, kind of like the negative feedback 
that you can get. The mental, uh, the mental cruelty is that your supervisor approaches and say, oh my God, you retard, you're worthless, you stand for nothing, how could you do that? Do you have any brain to work with? And so on and so forth. It's kind of like words meant to hurt, words meant to uh, knife daggers in your heart, all right? That is mental cruelty. Saying one thing in a way that can really, really hurt you. That's why your queries have to code very, very warm uh, for that week. And uh, if you can completely disregard what the others think of you, of uh, your relationships, of your job, you know, or in general of your performance, then this week is going to be as painless as possible, okay? Um, <clears throat> because with the Tree of Swords, um, the mind... Uh, throughout the week will correspond with your heart in almost the same level. So everything you hear, you are going to feel it as well. Uh, I hate to say it, but this is going to be a, um, the socio, uh, the sociopaths, the sociopaths uh, of Aquarius who are watching that, um, they will have no problem in the week whatsoever, but the rest, not that much. Also, the Tree of Swords may indicate that you may face some troubles, uh, some problems, excuse me, not troubles, but problems, and some of your endeavors could uh, go backwards, okay? So kind of like denies, uh, and not even delays, but they kind of like bounce you back a couple of steps and so on and so forth. Important thing with this card, guys, is should you find yourself emotionally hurt because you have been a victim of mental cruelty or simply someone hurt you by their words, uh, then you should allow yourself to really suffer from it. What I mean is that you shouldn't try to not pay attention if you cannot do that, but instead live through it, drink through it, sleep through it, do what is necessary through it in order to um, quickly experience it and um, heal from it, okay? Because uh, the pain with the Tree of Swords is rather uh, a pain that needs to be experienced if one uh, accept, if one is uh, exposed, okay? Because those who doesn't care about what the other things and how the others approach them, or those who ha who knows their value, okay? Confident in their value, all right? Because you can know your value, you know that you can do something and everybody has a bad day, okay? And this time around, you may not give a 100% of yourself, but you know that you can do it and you have been confronted, you have been hurt. Well, those who doesn't give a crap about such kind of situations, well, then they have nothing to live through, okay? So, or, or no pain to live through. But for those who kind of like are more emotional, then uh, it will be beneficial beneficial here to really give what it's necessary or do what is necessary to live through that pain instead of trying to smother the pain or um, yeah silence it because eventually it's going to catch up with you. The accompanied card here uh, that is uh, the world card and definitely uh, we are talking about um, incapability to close a deal to finalize something or the very uh, the very the finish line of a certain endeavor uh, will not be able to be crossed throughout this week uh, while it was expected to be crossed and uh, basically those who are involved in it will try to put all the blame on you and it's gonna do it and they're gonna do it in a very really in a way, lack of honor. It's just, I don't know how there are such people, but obviously there are. So um, that being said, really, uh, this week, uh, Aquarius is, no, that, that is tough. Uh, that is really tough to go through, um, especially if you gave everything you had in it, just to say, you know, you worked on that project and, uh, you worked extra time and 
you basically put your relationship on hold for it and uh, you neglected yourself for it and finally you know because something isn't happening the way that it was expected to happen you get the blame for it it's it's not really a good thing or even if you don't get get the whole blame for it um you may being touched from uh this mental cruelty which is going to be addressed from those that are expecting you to uh, cross the finish line. So what you should not do throughout this uh, week, uh, that is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands really sits for completing a um, cycle of growth, which in this point, uh, which in this case, points that you should not close the case at all. Uh, that card it is very beneficial in this place, uh, in a follow-up of the Tree of Swords because it points that you have a time for correction. You can do what is, uh, you can do the things in a different way or to get back in there and really correct your actions in a way that have been expected. And also uh, that card has a, a little bit of a different incorporation and it points that uh, your um, your joy, not happiness, but your joy should be relatively independent from the rest of the world. What I mean is that because someone is not, someone is trying to screw your day and to ruin your mood, it doesn't mean that you should let them do it. Okay, so you have to, you need to have some uh, multiple things that you experience joy from and when you are facing that kind of a situation of mental cruelty, problems, you know, and basically people are being unfair to you to find joy into a, a different places apart from this, um, from this field which you are experiencing that pain, okay, if, if I may express myself that way. So uh, literally, uh, this is what the Four of uh, Wands here is saying, guys, that it is not way too late now to uh, basically correct the, um, the actions that you have been confronted for. And this time around, meet the expectations of your boss, of your lover here, because that could be as well your lover, uh, of your friends, and so on and so forth. And the additional card that we do have, that is the Star card and... Uh, this is the we have active enemies that we do have here and unfortunately the star card points that no matter what you do uh it's simply you aren't going to satisfy anybody i mean these people they are always displeased for what it seems or they will be always displeased so uh to me uh really it does look like that it, it does depend on your on the personal sense of of um of responsibility. If you feel responsible to get back in there and try a new, feel free to do it, okay? Uh, if I were you, Aquarius is looking that second card, especially, pff, I wouldn't bother. It just doesn't worth the hassle to me, okay? But it it it, it does depend on the person the, on the personal sense of uh, of responsibility. <clears throat> but the reading takes on a different direction. Direction. What I'm trying, I am giving you that as a, a shade of what you can do. But uh, regardless, are you going to get back in there and make correction or not? Um, it will be uh, irrelevant of how you're gonna cope with uh, that problem of yours and also what is going to be the unfoldment of growth. So that is entirely depending on your personal decision. Should you get back in there and do uh, what basically people expect from you? Not what is right, not what is most beneficial, but what they are expecting from you, okay? So uh, the next card that we do have here, that is the Ace of Swords. And this is what you should do. So uh, what the card points is that as soon as you receive these attacks, these uh, attempts to be humiliated, these attempts to be presented in a bad way, those mental cruelties, you should immediately stop there, okay? Immediately stop there, withdraw and uh, take a few days off and analyze what you are. 
Okay, so you can place, you have to place an accurate diagnosis of what you are, how much you're worth, and uh, if you will, why, uh, why the, the things back then or why these people were doing that to you, okay? Because otherwise, uh, otherwise you are going to be just carried away by the flow and uh, simply those people will not gonna give you a break. So you have to give that break to yourself. What is to happen out of this uh, deliberation? Uh, it is most likely that you are to define that you need a, a drastic, uh, drastic change or rather like a, a, a change of scenery, okay? Drastic change of scenery accompanied with drastic measures. Those drastic measures could be just confronting your supervisor and saying, you know what? I ain't gonna take those shits anymore. I mean, if you wanna work with me, we are going to work like normal people, but if you are going to treat me like a freak, I am going to be a freak with you, all right? So it's kind of like a showing to those people that they cannot screw with you and that you cannot be always the one to be blamed for everybody else's mistake, for example. But the very core thing with the Ace of Swords here, Aquarius, is, is that you need to define for yourself what you're worth. And you shouldn't al allow anybody to... Um, diminish this understanding so if for example they tells you that you work for nothing you know well guess what you do work for maybe more than they think and maybe more than they will ever know but if you allow yourself to be um really hurt and uh touched emotionally but that by that statement it's a uh, it's easy to sway yourself into that direction you know um, there are many people that are that have had fell victim into um, in, into such circumstances. I know as well people that have fell victim into some uh, different circumstances where they they are uh, their confidence have been boosted beyond the limits. And what happens there is that they think that they worth a lot. But in reality, they don't have a, a cover upon what they think they're worth. And that is that could have also very devastating uh, circumstances or kind of like consequences, excuse me, uh, may, because these people, they don't just start working for salary. They want to be boss. They want to be uh, kind of like, you know, leaders, they, they want to work for, for example, $4,000 a month or maybe $10,000 a month because their confidence is boosted, okay? So uh, it, it is important here to maintain the ground and to really place an accurate diagnosis, what you're worth and is what they say, what these people attack you for, justified. And uh, as I said, that that is going to be a time for drastic change. Just look what we have. We have the death card and we and here uh, these cards form active neutrals. And what happens is the more you deliberate, guys, the more you're going to realize that those guys, girls, lovers, friends, co-workers, they simply don't deserve your passion. They don't deserve you grieving for them. They seem they, they don't deserve your attention. I'm not saying for everybody, but for those who are attacking you in such mean, surreptitious, and very, very unfair way. Now, seeing this card, I could say that they, they definitely attack you in a very unfair way. Way, excuse me. But uh, don't you worry, Aquarius, is because at the end, should you follow this guidance? So, in other words. Um, you analyze that uh, how much you're worth and you don't allow yourself to fall into despondency because people like to, uh, people like to make you feel bad um, in regard to their own insecurity or they just simply want to put the blame into someone else or just because you're facing some problems and uh, everybody is laughing at you because you are in these... Um, not everybody, but some people are laughing at you as you are into those uh, into those problems. At the end, what we do have is a woman coming around uh, that steps out for you. First of all, this woman is going to uh, basically plummet those people into a, a mouse hole. 
uh, this is what we uh, we have as, a, as as an expression in this uh, in our country. Just to give you an example of that, let's say someone mocks at you, and this woman steps in and say, "Oh yeah, you're mocking at him. Well, let's see how much you're worth. Then show me how much you're worth. You know, and it's gonna shame them for what they are doing. Additionally to that, this woman is gonna accept you for who you are. She very well knows your weaknesses. She very well knows as well your blessings and your strengths. And the thing is that she will not be judgmental, but she will make use of your strengths and will help you overcome your weaknesses in um, many different ways. And one of those ways is just, you know, boosting your confidence. Also, she will spend some time with you in a sense of that you are going to have a, a very joyful enterprises together. And um, eventually, you know, uh, she could... Um, give you an examples with herself foremost that, uh, you know, even if uh, you have decided that you cannot do what these people were attacking you for, you can be much better into a different field. It is just, it is just yet for you to find your calling and there is nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a person who will uh, support you and uh, it, it will it will regain it will make you regain back your positive attitude and your positive mood as well. And uh, the accompanied card that we do have, this is the four of pentacles. So we have again active neutrals here and uh, you're going to um, let go of that defensive uh, that defensive position that you are going to adopt when these people start attacking you okay you you're going to let go of uh, because that defensive position first is going to put your back against the wall and is going to make you look guilty and uh, as that woman steps in uh, you will no longer need to be defensive because there is someone else who is stepping for you and uh, on top of that, it does look like that uh, you are going to find as a, uh, her as a value of, um, of treasure. And uh, the Four of Pentacles here points that uh, you are going to expand your comfort zone together. I mean, she is going to introduce you to enterprises and activities which you before haven't contributed into. At the start, you're going to find it very awkward, all right? But uh, the, more you, uh, the more you invest in it or kind of like the more you get along with it, the more comfortable you will start um, feeling yourself in these environments and uh, simply she is going to add a she's going to make you become more versatile when it comes coping with everyday's routine so that being said Aquarius uh, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for February uh, 11th to February 17th 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and I'm sorry for the uh, so-called negative reading I don't control the cards all right it's just whatever they show I say and I don't like to sugarcoat um well kind of like uh how Luckily, you know, I kind of changed my uh, my spread and this spread always leads to a outcome of growth. But as you can see, it has a conditions that needs to be achieved in order that to be uh, that to happen. So, yeah, now you do have the recipe how you can get out of uh, this unfortunate situation. And uh, yeah, the, the last thing that I want to say once again is that uh, for the month of February, all of my services have been re massively reduced or kind of like significantly reduced uh, for a reason that many that those people who are uh, really experiencing difficulties and especially financial difficulties can afford a reading with me because for the last six months, really, there were a lot of inquiries, but with most of them kind of like the feedback when I say, you know, go and check out my website and so on and so forth. They say, wow, you are expensive and they never come back. So here now, you know, I have reduced the price to become more accessible. And uh, yeah, basically, if you before you couldn't afford the reading with me, have a look right now at my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And maybe you're going to find now the price is attractive. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.